ng hapon at welcome sa Manila Med Healthline. Summertime is really here. Kahit na medyo maulan-ulan sa bandang hapon, eh ramdam na ramdam pa rin natin ng init ng panahon sa tuwing umaga. Kaya naman hindi maiiwasang kumain or uminom ng mga malalamig at minsan matatamis ng mga inumin o kaya pagkain. At kapag matatamis na bagay ang mga pinag-uusapan na po'y diabetes ang una sa listahan. At ngayong hapon na ito ay pag-uusapan natin ang masasabing bittersweet na health issue. Kung ano ito, let's all watch this video. Upang lalo nating maintindihan kung ano nga ba ang diabetes, let's all welcome Dr. Marita Fuentes, isang internal medicine endocrinologist ng Manila Med. Magandang hapon doc at syempre welcome sa Manila Med Health. Thank you. Med. Magandang hapon. Ayan, pakibati naman po ang ating mga viewers. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, ako. Maraming maraming salamat for uh, giving us our, your time doc and sharing your knowledge about diabetes. Ayan, to start it po, Ano nga po ba ang diabetes? Okay, diabetes is a metabolic disorder mm -hmm. wherein the glucose, which is usually the energy source of the body, fails to be used by the body as an energy. Mm -hmm. The reason for this is because uh, you need insulin for the glucose to enter the cells. Mm -hmm. It acts like a key that opens the cell so that glucose can enter and be utilized as an energy. In a diabetic patient, because of the lack of insulin, or sometimes it is because the insulin does not function normally, so the glucose cannot enter the cell and cannot be utilized as an energy mm -hmm. source. Ano po ba yung nagkakos ng yung pagmalfunction ng insulin, which leads us to anong causes ng diabetes? Okay. One. Uh, it, be, uh, it is based on what type of diabetes that you have. Mm -hmm. In type 1 diabetes, there is an absolute insulin deficiency. Mm -hmm. So the body cannot produce the insulin because the pancreas is uh, not functioning well. Mm -hmm. On type 2 diabetes naman, on the other hand, they may produce the insulin but the insulin is not functioning well. Why is it so? Because you, don't, you have your insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? No? The body has the insulin, but the cell does not recognize the insulin. Mm -mm. So, it happens in conditions wherein you have overweight mm -mm. and obesity, particularly central adiposity. Mm -mm. So, patients who are overweight and obese develop this insulin resistance, and so the body cannot utilize properly the insulin that the body is producing. Mm -mm. You've mentioned, Doc, yung type 1 and type 2, kasi some sense na parang ang type 1, it's insulin dependent, ang type 2, it's not. So, masasabi po ba natin na mas grabe ang type 2 or magkaibang bagay po yun? Magkaiba sila. Both of them are serious illnesses mm -mm. because if you don't treat them well, of course, it would lead to mortality. Mm -mm. Your type 1, as I have mentioned, has an absolute deficiency of your insulin. Okay. There is an absolute destruction of your pancreas, so mm -mm. the body does not produce the insulin. It is an autoimmune condition wherein antibodies attacks your pancreas and destroys your pancreas. So these individuals with type 1 would need exogenous insulin as support no? mm -mm. to survive. Then this is for life. Mm, life, okay. Okay, while your type 2 diabetes it starts with insulin resistance. Mm -mm. So when you have obesity, when you have overweight, obesity, sedentary life, then you have your insulin resistance. Mm -mm. And so the body can still produce a little insulin, but the cells of the body does not recognize the insulin. And so, therefore, it does not function well. Mm. Doc, yung in terms of signs and symptoms for type 1 and type, type 2, 2, pakibahagi naman po sa atin kung ano po ba yung mga yan. Uh, in the early stages of your diabetes, the patient may not have the symptoms, mm -mm. particularly in type 2 diabetes. And that is the reason why 
in, among our type 2 diabetics, they already have the complications of the disease before mm -hmm. they seek medical consultation. Mm -hmm. So the symptoms comes when the complication sets in. Mm -hmm. And for type 1 diabetic, usually the symptoms is abrupt, mm -hmm. acute, and more severe. Mm -hmm. Because as we have mentioned, there is absolute insulin deficiency. Mm -hmm. So it's what are the some of the symptoms that we see? We have the three P's. No? The first P would be your polyuria. So there is frequent urination. Mm -mm. Patient may wake up at night frequently, two, three, four times to urinate. And because of this frequent urination, patient becomes dehydrated. Mm -mm. So they will seek water. So there would be excessive thirst. Mm -mm. So that is another P. You have your polydipsia. So first is your polyuria, then you have your polydipsia, and then the other one P would be your polypagia. Mm -hmm. Because the body does not utilize glucose as an energy, there is always the feeling of hunger. There is increase in hunger, so mm -hmm. the patient eats a lot. And that is another P, you have your polypagia. Mm -hmm. So reiterating, you have your polyuria, you have your polydipsia, and you have, you have your polypagia. Okay. Aside from these three P's, mm -hmm. which are the classic symptoms of your diabetes, you also have irritability, mm -mm. you also have lack of concentration, you also have easy fatigability. Yes. And if patients already have the symptoms of the eye and you have already your retinopathies and cataract, patients may come to you with blurring of vision as mm -mm. their first complaint, not knowing that they are diabetics. Yes. Likewise, if this patient already would have the complications of the neuropathies, involvement of the nerves, mm -hmm. this patient would come to you with what we call pins and needles. Mm -hmm. So you have numbness of both lower and upper extremities and you have tingling sensation. Yes. So what we call the pins and needles. Doc, no, aside dun sa na mention yung complications like uh, yung blindness or uh, overweight, ano pa po ba yung mga diseases that comes along with yung diabetes? Okay. So, uh, glucose per se is it, particularly if it's high and chronically high, can destroy your body. Mm -mm. So it has bad uh, effect on your blood vessels, mm -mm. both on the eyes, the kidneys, and the nerves. So if your eyes is affected, you have your diabetic retinopathy, mm -mm. and it is a leading cause of blindness. If it affects your kidneys, then you have your diabetic nephropathy, and it is a leading cause of end-stage renal disease that needs dialysis. Mm. It is also a leading cause of non-traumatic amputations because of the numbness, the patient cannot take care of themselves. So sometimes mm -hmm. they develop wounds and the wound progress leading to amputations. More so, two to three, four, or two to four times more frequent that they will develop a cardiovascular event mm -mm. as compared to a non-diabetic patient, likewise with stroke. Mm -mm. So eight out of 10 diabetic patients would die, not because of elevated blood glucose, but because of a cardiovascular event. Mm -mm. Doc, yung mga amputations, gano po ba kabilis kumalat yung infections? Infections po ba matatawag yun? So, the infection, if it is an uncontrolled diabetes, mm -hmm. no, they are prone to develop uh, infection and it is very hard to cure because the blood supply to the lower extremities is hampered when you already have a chronic diabetic patient. Mm -hmm. So, there would be atherosclerosis of the lower extremities. So, blood supply is hampered. So, recuperation from an infection is mm -hmm. harder. Doc, paki, kasi we have this certain myth na parang pag kumain ka ng madaming madaming sweets, magkaka-diabetes ka. Gano'n po ba katotoo yung pag -ganun? Okay. Eating sweets per se may not cause you the diabetes. Mm -mm. Okay? Natural sugar is not bad. Mm -hmm. The natural sugar are the ones that give taste to your vegetable, mm -hmm. to your fruits, and to your milk. What is bad is your added sugar. When we talk of added sugar, we are talking about sugars that we use in processing the food, mm -mm. in food preparation. That's right. Mm -mm. So what is recommended by the American uh, Heart Association is just to have six teaspoons of sugar per day. A day? Wow. Yes. Parang... To be healthy. Mm -mm. So as I have mentioned, directly though, there is a link. No? With the use of much sugar, mm -mm. there is a link to diabetes, obesity, mm -mm. heart diseases, hypertension, and the like. 
all the metabolic diseases, all the diseases of the lifestyle mm -hmm. are also associated with an increase in the consumption of the added sugar. Mm -hmm. Doc, you've mentioned all yung parang underlying diseases or pwede pang makuha ng mga uh, persons with diabetes. Can it be cured po ba? Or since you've mentioned lifetime na siya, ano po ba yung pwede natin gawin na solusyon? Okay. With diabetes, only one type of diabetes can be cured. That is gestational diabetes. Mm -hmm. What is gestational diabetes? It is a diabetes triggered by pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, if pregnancy is terminated, the blood glucose goes back to normal. Mm -hmm. okay. Unfortunately, there is no cure for your type 1 and your type 2. As we have mentioned, for your type 1, they will need a lifetime supply of exogenous insulin for them to survive. Mm -hmm. With type 2, uh, we can control them, mm -hmm. of course, with diet, exercise, yes. and healthy living. But eventually, because it is a progressive disease, mm -hmm. medication is also needed, and even insulin sometimes mm -hmm. is needed. Strict diet talaga. And Correct. Sobrang so we cannot health. cure type 2, but we can control it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's nice naman. So depende pa rin sa ating mga viewers yes. how to handle it. Nako, eto doc, in terms of diagnosing or... Uh, yung treatment ng dito ng diagnosis, is it available po ba dito yes, sa Manila? Yes, all diagnostic tests pertaining to the diagnosis of diabetes is available in Manila Med. Mm -mm. Okay. So there are cues, no? there are red flags where a person should seek Consulta consultation mm -hmm. and test whether they have diabetes or not, if this patient is obese, mm -mm. if this patient has a history of gestational diabetes, if a woman has given birth to a baby that is nine pounder, mm -hmm. so these are red flags to tell us that, hey, I should test my blood sugar. If I have a family history of diabetes and hypertension, probably early on, I should be checking on my blood glucose. But generally, if you do not have this risk factor, if you are not obese and you do not have this history, blood sugar monitoring, blood sugar testing should be started at the age 45. 45. Yes. Gano po ba kabata ang isang tao para, di ba may sinasabi 18 sila na diagnose How young can a, one person be diagnosed with diabetes? With type 1? Yes. You can po. see that even at age 1, age two, one. 3. Yes. Because it is an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. With type 2, now we are seeing a lot of type 2 diabetic patients and very young individuals, mm -hmm. particularly in patients who are working wherein they sit a lot, mm. like call centers, yes. and they eat a lot, and they don't move. Mm -hmm. So now we are seeing type 2 diabetic patients even as young as 16 years old. Mm. So, pabata ng pabata. Pabata ng pabata because our lifestyle mm -mm. reflects what reflects. we have. Oh, oh. Yeah. Our maraming, disease. Maraming salamat, Doc, for that uh, first set of answers. And syempre, sa so pagbabalik natin, we are expecting all our viewers to type in their questions and a-answeran yan ni Dr. Afuentes live na live. All of this will happen sa pagbabalik ng Manila Med Healthline. We are healing professionals, trained by science, molded by experience. We are in the practice of proactive healthcare. We dedicate our lives to you, and in the process, we ourselves become better. Manila Med, only our best to make you feel better. Pagbabalik dito sa Manila Med Healthline, kasama pa rin natin si Dr. Fuentes and pinag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba ang diabetes at let's proceed po dun sa pag-answer ng mga questions. To start it with po, uh, we have a question number one from, ayan, isang question po galing kay Ruth Hamero Villegas, ano po mainam para bumaba ang mataas na sugar level? So for all diabetic patients, there is also at least uh, three mantra that you have to follow. Mm -mm. One is eat healthy. When we talk of eat healthy, it means that you eat more of the veggies, the fruits, nuts, mm -hmm. the legume. So when you eat the vegetable, 
try to choose something that is not too much starchy. And these mm -hmm. are your broccoli, your spinach, your green peas, your lettuce. And then move, move more. So meaning, exercise. Mm -hmm. Don't have to go to a fancy gym, okay? 30 minutes a day, five times a week, get the 10,000 steps a day. And that would help in lowering down your blood glucose. Likewise, uh, you need to take, if you have medications, then you have to be compliant with your medication. All of this would help control and manage your diabetes. At one shout out to Lotte Banyes po, if you know Lotte Banyes. Ayan. Another question po from uh, Maverick Teves. Bawal po ba ang dark chocolate sa may uh, diabetes? Well, light uh, chocolate, uh, as they say, would be better than the other types of chocolate. But still, no, you always have to take into consideration your portion size. Mm -mm. Portion size po. Yes. Uh -huh. Because it, but dark chocolate also contains sugar. Mm -mm. From Lay Herrera po, Dr. Fuentes, how can I treat or even control my diabetes? By the way, I'm level 2 diabetes. Uh, I cannot understand what me, that level 2 means. Maybe it's type, type two, 2 diabetes. Well, I would suggest that you should seek the professional help of your endocrinologist. And then, as we have mentioned, all of this boils down to your eating healthy, moving a lot, and, of course, being compliant with your medication. Okay, and thank you, Doc. One uh, from K po, sabi po niya, Hi Doc, possible po ba magka-diabetes kahit wala pang history sa family? Unfortunately, the answer is a big yes. Mm -hmm. Because diabetes is a disease of the lifestyle. Even if you do not harbor the genes that would bring about diabetes, if your lifestyle is sedentary, if you take a lot of sweets, if you take a lot of ca calories, lots of fats, all of this can also lead to you developing mm -hmm. diabetes later on. Another question po, sabi, to totoo po bang effective or helpful yung mga artificial sweetener? Well, the artificial sweeteners, no, is better if you cannot avoid taking sweet. Mm -mm. Rather than using the simple sugar, the refined sugar, then use your artificial sweetener. Dok, kapag po ba mayroon na siyang diabetes, Ano po ba yung level ng sugar ang dapat intake or total zero talaga? No, you, you can still take your sugar, mm -mm. but avoid the simple sugars. Mm -mm. As we have mentioned, the natural sugar that you see in your vegetables, mm -mm. in your fruits, in your nuts, are not okay. bad. They are good. What is bad is your added sugar. The ones that we use in making our ice cream, our cakes, our pizza. Mm -mm. So these are the bad sugar. Ayan. Meron po tayong question dito na medyo related lang po sa diabetes. Okay. May, P may PCOS daw po si Liza, uh, Miss Liza, and then she is asking, nag-take ako ng metformin. Masama po ba ito sa liver at kidney sa pang matagalan na pag-take na to? Okay. This is a myth among patients that metformin can cause damage to your liver and to your kidneys. The answer is no. Okay? You can take your metformin for long periods of time. Your metformin has a very good pharmacological profile, particularly with patients with PCOS. Mm -mm. Because PCOS is also related with insulin resistance. Mm. The only thing is your metformin is contraindicated if you already have a renal problem. Mm -mm. So it does not cause the renal problem, but it is contraindicated in patients who already have a creatinine of 1.4. Mm. So it does not cause the renal problem, but it is contraindicated in any patients who already have a renal problem. Mm -hmm. Nako, thank you, Doc. I'm sure madaming napulot ang ating mga viewers about that. And before we end it up po, a simple general advice sa ating mga viewers. And of course, sa lahat din ng mga interested na magpa-consult po sa inyo, pakimension na rin po yung clinic hours ninyo and when are you available dito sa Manila Med? Well, I have my clinic here at Manila Med uh, every Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock at room 242. What is my general advice to the public? Even if you are not diabetic, the mantra of eating healthy, more veggies, less fats, should be followed. Likewise, move. Exercise 30 minutes a day, five times a week. 
Get the 10,000 steps a day that is recommended. Nako, maraming maraming salamat, Doc uh, Fuentes. I'm sure madaming napulot ang ating viewers. And personally, ako din, na uh, sobrang hindi pala nakakasigurado kahit wala kang family, family. history. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Doc, for that and for all, for sharing your knowledge with us. At syempre sa ating mga viewers, maraming maraming salamat din sa pag-type in ng inyong mga questions at inyong mga pagbahagi ng at inyong mga experiences. Abangan ang aming susunod pang uh, Uh, episode which is bipolar disorder sa May. Ito na po yung last episode natin for April. At uh, sa lahat din ng mga viewers natin, hindi pa nalalike ang Manila, Manila Med Facebook fanpage. Nako, better like it to be updated and be informed lagi. And of course, visit our website which is manilamed.com.ph Ayan, muli ako po si Hannah Lipitan and this has been Manila Med Healthline. Only your best to make you feel better. Magandang hapon and happy weekend.